Big boots to fill by Lewis McCartney. The winning entry from last year's Junior Filmmakers Competition. If we go win this thing, we have to be aware of the rules. Yeah. Forget the rules. It's a short film contest. We make a short film, how hard can it be? Last year they rejected an entry because it was seven seconds over three minutes. Okay, filmmakers, this year's theme is heroes. And, courtesy of Zane's father, the very generous and wealthy Dr. Harrison Bennett, this year's prize money has doubled. Oh, awesome. Sounds good. And Dr. Bennett himself is on the judging panel. Good luck. So your dad's judging and sponsoring. Wonder who's gonna win? If you're implying that you're an automatic loser, I'll second that. Why does Zane's dad get to judge? Probably because he's putting in all the money. But maybe because he's a genuine hero too. Look, that's the windsurfer Harrison Bennett rode to Mako Island. All the way around and back in record time, right Zane? Yeah, whatever. Old news. The record stood for 20 years. Yeah, my dad, big hero. Blah, 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 blah. I had no idea your dad was a hero. You must have been a tremendous disappointment to him. So, if we're working together, we're gonna to need to research. Done. I've rented all the movies we need. Cleo, those movies aren't right. You want research? These are classics. Tracy and Hepburn, Bogart and Bacall. We're never gonna win the prize money doing the romance. It's not about the money, it's about the art. What about these? At least Cleo's choices had stories. I will die if I have to watch a North Korean family eat breakfast for an hour in real time. Can't you read subtitles, Ricky? These are real films with poetry and mood. Jaws doesn't need subtitles. A shark is a shark in any language. So who goes first? We can't watch them all tonight. Let's just be civilised about this. Best of three, scissors, paper, rock. So, uh, reschedule Mrs Bates for six and we'll squeeze in Mrs Henman's tummy tuck at two. OK, Pauline? Hey, Dad, I got you something. No, Mrs Goldstein is just a Botox treatment. In and out. Hey, that's me. Oh, I've got to go, Pauline. I tracked down some old photos and articles. It wasn't easy getting copies of all these. You know, to break that record, I dodged stingray sharks and total exhaustion. I broke it by 35 minutes. I got the newspaper articles from the library archives. It took me hours. Can't beat natural grace. This is great. You know, my record will still be standing in another 20 years. Somebody might break it. They... No way. Mako Island's a shark breeding ground these days. Nobody will ever break my record. I'd kiss the feet of any man who could pull off what I did then and keep all of his limbs intact. You know, I should get this on a loop for my waiting room. What are you doing this year, Lewis? I have no idea. We've only got a few days, so I think we should go with the most developed idea, which is mine. You have an idea already. Cleo, this is Emma we're talking about. I think the film should be called my mother. Sounds riveting a thriller. Heroes aren't always pumped up super freaks who wear lycra and fly through the air, Ricky. And what's more, real heroes like my mum aren't always seen on screen. And there's a reason for that. Don't you think a whole three minutes on your mum might be a little... What? Weak? No. Self-indulgent? No. Boring? No. Trust me, it'll be gold. I've already got an entry form. I'm ready to go. Time for juice. Three? What'll it be, Ricky? Uh, can I please get three juices of the day and can you slip me another entry form? And, um, so what drives you? Drives me? I'm not really sure what you mean. Um, what are the primary forces that propel you through life? Well, really, I guess it's wanting the best for my children, you and Elliot. 
I don't really think that much about myself. Uh, um, do you want me to keep recording this? Like, is this an important bit? It's all important, Ricky. Unless you'd like a break. Oh, can I? Thank you. Um, I'll tell you what, while you're sorting out your stuff, I'll go do some camera tests, some different lights, some different backgrounds. That's a good idea, yeah. Uh, Lewis? Thank you. I still don't understand why you need me. Simple. This. You want to shoot underwater? Yep. No side of Mako Island. Ricky, have you any idea how many sharks are out there? That's the idea. Sharks are winning formula on film. You want to film them? Heroes of the deep. That's my idea. Think about it. I can get footage that no one else can get. It'll be great. Come on, face it. We're never going to win the competition with Emma's idea. Just think of it as a backup plan. No. 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 I need an entry form for the competition. I've just had the best idea for a film. Sorry, Zane, but you're not eligible. What? Your father's on the judging panel. It'll be a conflict of interest. You can't possibly think it would help me that he's on the panel. Look, I'm sorry, but rules are rules. Hey, Lewis. Hey, what? I know we haven't always seen things eye to eye in the past. Whatever you want, the answer's no. Let me break it down for you. I take my dad's original windsurfer. I reenact his trip around Mako Island. I break his record and you film the whole thing. A reenactment? So it's not even original? It's a tribute. Like Hillary's son climbing Everest. You'll be capturing a moment in history. Especially if I beat his record. Me doing you a favour. One problem, I don't like you. You finished the film? My camera is yours. <laughs> Zane, Zane, my very, very close friend. Now we're talking. Lights, camera, action. So, Mama, I'd like to talk about your time as a junior lifesaver. Really? Yes, I hear you were very good. Well, <laughs> the funny thing is, I completed the course, but I never actually collected my certificate. Really? Hmm. It's priceless. <laughs> it's a pity Lewis is missing this. Mm. Pity. Slight modifications. This waterproof mini cam is going to send images directly back to me in the boat. I'll get the wide shot. Good. I don't want the filming to slow me down. Yeah. Now put this on so we can stay in contact in case. In case what? Oh, well, just in case anything goes wrong. Nothing's going to go wrong. I'm pumped. Let's do it. Move it! Have 
Have you seen Cleo? Um, no, I think she's just running a bit late. Okay. Roll camera. Okay. I was thinking uh, maybe we could talk about what type of clothes you wore in the 70s or what type of food you ate. Um, mm. Here's a thought. Maybe I should save tape while you figure out exactly what you want to talk oh, about. Good thinking. And while you do that, I could do a few more tests. That's a really good idea, Ricky. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay, so um, are you in the brownies or? I was in the GFS, which was called the Girls Friendly Society. How much of time? I hate to say it, but if you keep this speed up, you'll probably beat your dad's record. Right. Come on, come on. Zane, are you okay? I think I've flooded the engine. Thanks, Mum. So, when you're a junior lifesaver, you're obviously a good swimmer. Did you ever save anyone? What? No. It's nothing. Forget it. You did? Oh, yes, but no. Mum, tell me about no, it. No, 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 I can't. Please? I was 12, and I saved a boy from the surf. He would have drowned. Mum, that's a wonderful story. Did, did you get a name? Is there any way we could contact him and follow it up? That would be a really great moment in the film. Mum? I'm sure he has forgotten all about it, and... He's a fairly important person now, and I don't think he'd like it made public. Please, just a name. Harrison Bennett. He was young, he got into difficulties, and I dragged him out. That's all there is to it. The funny thing, though, I was pretty keen on Harrison back then. And after I saved him, he kind of avoided me. I think he was a bit embarrassed. What I do remember very clearly, though, it's how scared I was. I was petrified. I mean, what if I didn't save him? It's a lot of pressure for a 12-year-old. Mm. Hey, Mum. Lewis, once I get around this point, it should be plain sailing. See a thing.
were sharks everywhere. I thought I was a goner. You okay? I don't see anything. Just get me out of here. Amazing. Not exactly the word I'd use. Help! Save me! I've been at the juice bar hosing Wilfred down for two hours. He was about to go to the police. It's your windsurfer, not his. OK, maybe we should have asked, but this footage is fantastic. It'll make a great film. You can't do that. I sponsor that competition. You think I want my son on public ah! view looking like that? Help me! There was a 20-foot shark out there, Dad. There were heaps of them. Did you see anything? Well, um... I didn't think so. Zane created this charade because he knew he couldn't really break my record. Now get rid of that. No, 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 no. I shot this footage. That disc belongs to me. It's mine. Hi, Mum. Emma, where have you been? I thought you wanted to do more... I got this for you. That's right. It's my junior life-saving graduation certificate. I tracked it down at the club. They still had it on file and I got it framed. Thank you, sweetheart. Can we hang it up on the wall? Mm. Yep. Yeah. Hi, guys. We're ready to film when you are. Actually, I've decided to call it off. Emma, it's OK. We've talked about it and we're going to help you no matter what we think personally. Well, that's OK. I think that real heroes don't need their stories turned into big productions. Sometimes it's better just to know the truth. Lewis, mm. I need a favour. I have fantastic shark footage and I have no idea how to cut it into a film. It's great stuff. It's so close you can almost touch them. So you're the expert. What do I do? How are you going to explain how you shot it? What? Well, if it's better than the professionals, how are you going to explain that without arousing suspicion? Well, I was going to... I mean, I could... Oh... I can't show it, can I? Funny. I think the audience is the best uh, judge, Ricky. I was there, Lewis. Who do you think scared away the sharks and were back to eat him? Zane isn't acting. So, congratulations to you all for a fantastic effort. It's time to announce our winners. And the winner is... For the second year in a row, a wonderful comedy, Lewis McCartney. Scared of the Water. Starfish for best actor, even with his father abstaining from the vote, Zane Bennett. Can I say I'd like to donate the prize money to this establishment to compensate for any trouble I caused? And thanks for this award.
But what can I say? The Bennett's are winners. Right, Dad? You mean? No, the whole thing about surfing around Mako and everything else. It took guts. You're the only one who thinks so. I was thinking about talking to you, but maybe not right now. It's okay. We won't listen. Next week is the school swimming sports, and I really want to beat Sam in the 100 metres, but he always beats me. It's okay to come second. Oh, third or fourth, yeah, but I can't explain it. I've developed this need to win. I know the feeling. Or at least I used to. You were the swimming star until you quit. Which, by the way, is a complete mystery to me. You're like this quality skateboard that's just sitting in the cupboard. I've always thought of her the same way. Sorry, I'm not listening. I need you to teach me how to beat Zane. To give me that killer instinct, but temporarily. I don't want to be hooked on winning on a permanent basis. So will you help me? Sorry, Byron. I'm not into that whole competitive thing anymore. It was a former life. I can't. It's cool. I understand. You did the right thing. We can't risk swimming pools. I've been looking everywhere for you guys. Uh, I need a hair sample. How dare Lewis expect pieces of us? Him and his little experiments are really starting to bug me. He's just trying to help. I doubt it. He likes annoying us. You're angry. He'd be angry too if he was a guinea pig. I don't know. I've known Lewis since I was five and I've never seen him get angry. Yeah? Well, we'll see about that. Maybe I shouldn't have compared you to a skateboard. I didn't mean anything. You weren't that wrong. I feel like I'm sitting in a cupboard sometimes. It's been spinning me out. Wondering why you can't swim anymore and why you can't help me. And it came to me, you can't get wet. Who told you? You have swimmers here, you know, ear infection. Either that or you don't like me that much. But if that was the case, I'd be kind of sad. Hope I'm not interrupting anything. No. What's up? A gift for Mrs. Gilbert from my dad. He bought it for his girlfriend, Candy, but anything more complicated than picking up a phone and ordering a pizza is beyond her skills. For your mum. She'll love it. What's going on here? Nothing. Right. The race. You're not getting tips from the old swim champ, are you? You are. <laughs> Waste of time, Byron. She can't help you. You'll never win. Not while I'm around. I've changed my mind. I will be your coach. I'm going to turn you into a swimming machine. Cool. One condition. 
This has to be our secret. No one can know, especially not Cleo and Ricky. You're late. I am? 15 minutes. You would never believe what happened. No, I expect you to be on time. Sure thing, Coach. Okay, let's start with 20 laps. Right now. Usually I like to have a bit of a stretch first, and then a bit of a float, and then seven or eight laps tops. Those days are over. Your time starts now. myself. That's a big help. Thank you. Lewis. Bye. Yeah. Yeah, and no, I'll see you all tomorrow for the for the saliva swab. See? We're just specimens to him. That guy really needs a wake up call. And he's gonna get one. <laughs> I was flying. I must have shaved three or four seconds off my best. You hesitate when you hit the wall. You've got to forget it's there. Keep swimming. Try and hit it hard. I need to know about your diet. What do you eat? Potato chips, corn chips, packet food. That's going to have to change. What are you two doing here? We ran, you didn't answer. You seem kind of tense. Me? No. Okay, so I wanted to run an idea past you about Lewis. Awesome shower. This must be mine. See you at the pool. There is an explanation. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. But I felt more sorry for Byron. He's come second three years in a row. And he's been having dreams about Zane. And he's just got those big, brown, sleepy eyes. It's got nothing to do with it. It's only for a couple more days, and I'm being really careful around water. I get it. One rule for you. A different rule for us. You're not even trying to understand. Why don't you just admit it? You like him. You want to spend time with him. That's not it at all, Ricky. Right, Cleo? Fine. I'm leaving. Greetings. Uh, Lewis, mm. would you be able to just, um, Get my teaspoon down there, please. Why'd oh, you drop it? Yeah. Oh, just down here? Yeah, down there somewhere. Can you see it? No, I can't. Sure, it's there. I forgot to get toenail clippings. training for ages and you haven't improved one bit. All I can do is my best. No point stressing about it. That's the point. You have to stress if you're going to be a winner. But if you want to be a loser all your life, then I'm not interested in helping you. Maybe we should take a break and go get an ice cream. Typical. Every time it gets tough, you want to have a rest or a drink or an ice cream. Not this time. 
back in the pool 20 laps. I've finished for the day. You can't be finished until I say so. I thought this was going to be fun, us working together. I thought you were going to inspire me, but you let me down, man. I never thought you were going to turn into some heavy training dragon. Am I too tough or too demanding? Am I a heavy training dragon? No way. Not possible. Although at times you can be a little bossy, and sometimes you don't really listen to people. Wow. She takes criticism well. Boy, have I made a startling discovery. You're an android. No. Far better than that. According to the hair sample you gave me, you are a seven-year-old German shepherd. I was wondering how long it would take you to figure out that that wasn't my hair. About 14 hours, actually. Ricky, what are you up to? Are you scared to find out the truth about being a mermaid? It's OK to be scared. There has got to be a way to make him crack. Ricky, that was me. Considering all that time Lewis wasted. Don't weaken on me now, Cleo. I'm sorry. It's okay. I may seem tough, but I'm easily hurt. I'm gonna make sure I'm nice from now on. How do I do that? You're asking the wrong person here. Hey, Ricky, where's Emma? I don't appreciate you calling my friend names. Emma may seem tough, but she's easily hurt. I was just telling her... Don't you realise she cares about you? Really? She cares? How much? I didn't say really likes you. She just cares about you. I care about Emma too. I really care. And I would never do anything to hurt her on purpose. Oh, well, just don't do it again. Today, but you're kicking much better. Silver lining in every wave. So I've been thinking, rather than just obsessing on winning, maybe you should concentrate on whatever feels right. I like it. The Zen approach. Getting on the same level now. Great, so how about a few more laps? I think I need a rest. I'm seriously pooped. Okay, that's good too. I really need to apologise for saying what I did. This is the fifth time you've said sorry. I forgave you the first time. I know you seem tough, but you're easily hurt. How do you know that? I really enjoyed training today. So did I. Look, Byron, I'm not an ordinary girl. I know that. Close his eyes? Did he have nice breath? Did he open his mouth fully? Cleo, this is not good. Try being nice and this is what happens. I bet his swimming's improved. No, it's worse. What's the point of being all soft and supportive if it doesn't actually make him swim better? There you go, Ricky. Apple, mango, an extra strawberry, one spoonful of yoghurt and a dash of ginger, just as you order. Wait, that's not what I ordered. I said half a spoon of yoghurt. I can't drink this. You better order me another one. Ricky, I don't remember you asking for just a half a spoon. Oh, no, Cleo, that's fine. I can get another drink. Oh, no! What have I done? I accidentally just wiped your, uh, 
hard drive. That's fine. Backup memory stick. Problem solved. Great. Oh, I've, I've, I'll keep the drink. What's half a spoon of yogurt? Not very much at all. <sighs> I can be such a clumsy cut sometimes. I really need to start watching what I'm doing. Oh no! What have I done? I did it again. I hope this doesn't destroy anything. I have a mirror site set up in Amsterdam. I can retrieve it all in less than a minute. Lucky. Ricky, this mission of yours is stupid and it's mean and I won't have anything else to do with it. I'm glad again, aren't I? You wouldn't believe what happened. We need to talk. This nice policy isn't working. I thought we were cooking. The funny thing is, I like how you chilled out and laid back. But it isn't going to win races. If you want me to be your coach, I'm going to have to get tough again. I want you to be my coach. I believe you can win if you push yourself. Working on your breathing technique. We were just talking. Yeah, right. Up for a race, Byron? He isn't interested. Yes, I am. Byron, don't do this. You're not ready. I'm always ready. When you're feeling good and relaxed, it's cool. You can win. That's my motto. Ready when you are. Dead meat barn. Emma? Hello, Byron. How lovely to see you. Come in. I'll just uh, leave you to it. Yell at me if you want to. Keep me swimming laps until my skin wrinkles up. Whatever it takes. I told you not to race. You should have listened to me. You've given Zane a huge psychological advantage. Okay, I'll listen from now on. I'm finished with it. It's not gonna work. Too many conflicts of interest. What conflicts? We cross the line. Serious competitors don't usually kiss their coaches. Well, coaches don't usually kiss back unless they want to. Maybe I was feeling sorry for you. Or maybe I was just feeling sorry for you. It's times like these when you really see what people are made of. You sure do. I don't want you as my coach anymore. You're fired. Good. That was extreme. Are you okay? Based on the law of probability, uh, Byron has no chance of beating Zane today. I still think Byron can win. <laughs> we better drink these quickly if you want to get good seats at the race. Thanks, Ricky. That is disgusting. This has got wheat germ in it. I hate wheat churn. Ricky, how many times have I tried to tell you that? I don't know. 
Well, what is your problem? Get this straight. I never, never have weed germ. I never want to have weed germ. Not only that, I just don't want to look at this glass. It makes me want to spew. Ricky, go get another drink. OK. OK. Coming right up. No need to get mad. Is that convincing enough? Perfect. Thanks, Lewis. She's been driving me mad all week. Yeah, I've, I've sort of enjoyed driving her mad. There is one catch, though. I'll never be able to drink weed germ again. Hey, Byron. Have you seen Emma? She's not coming. Hey, man, do you need glasses? That's my tell. I wish I could come, but I really need to clean my shoes. You hate cleaning your shoes. I shouldn't have kissed him. Now I've gone and ruined a friendship and I didn't even teach him how to swim better. You're just worried about what kind of a girlfriend you could be as a... a mermaid. Maybe I should just accept that I'm more mermaid than human. You're just making excuses. This is who we are now and we've got to try to live as normally as we can. He's still your friend. Besides, there's a chance he might still beat Zane. Do you want to miss that? Looks like your coach isn't coming. Cheer up. Some people are just born to come second. Set. I did what you told me about hitting the wall as hard as I could. I imagined there was this door was going through. And I just went for it. And it really worked, eh? No, stay back. I knew you could win. You just needed to be fired up. I was. Is that what you did? Plan the fight so that I'd get angry enough to win? Of course not. So, I guess we're just like colleagues then, whatever that means. And we're friends. Friends, thanks for helping me. You okay? Everything's fine. Let's go down to the juice bar. My shout. I feel like a swim. Well, we'll come with you. Alone. Awesome. 
I hate karaoke. It's just a bunch of wannabes searching for their 15 minutes of fame. I, I think it's quite deluded. And our next contestant is Cleo Satori. Except for you, Cleo, because you'll be really, really good. I didn't put my name down. I did. Go on. You know you want to. I can't. Yes, you can. Go on. Make us proud. This will be good. I'll look even better. You're going to regret this. She'll be fine. You haven't heard her sing. We had a good thing, a very, very good thing. And I thought it'd last forever. Boo! Get off! Love me for just one other day, and I'll make sure I make you stay. Steal the secrets from my heart. <laughs> put it together for um, Cleo. <laughs> nice one. Loser. I thought you were okay, Cleo. Dolphins hate me. Beware. Beware of what? What do you think? I don't know. You're the one telling me to beware. Haven't you learned anything yet? What's today? Um, Wednesday. It's the full moon. Yep, we've remembered. We're getting ready. But is it going to be as bad as last time? Are weird things going to happen to Emma again? Or Ricky? Or me, even? I'd hate that. Forewarned is forearmed. But only sometimes. Remember, do not touch water when the moon is full. Mum? Milk? Sure. I wish you'd stop doing that. Come in. Everything's been set up. Heaps of drink. Pizza's been ordered. Cool. What movies did you get? I thought you were getting the movies. Evening, ladies. Now, I wasn't sure what film you'd like, so I thought I'd play it safe and I got a chick flick. But I did get two horror movies. Lewis, well. what are you doing here? What? What are you doing here? Duh. I'm here to help. Remember, I'm the only one who won't be affected by the moon. So, if anyone falls asleep, I'll be right beside you. Will you now? Hello, Mr. Satori. I've got my eye on you. Dad! Don't. Don't worry, Lewis. You can sit with me. Don't open the door. Don't, don't open the... Ah! She opened the door. Kim! We well, shouldn't be watching this. This is for adults. I am an adult. Almost. And it's past your bedtime, too. You brought the movie, Lewis. Your fault. You should have been supervising. Your dad hates me. My dad hates all boys, Lewis. Don't flatter yourself. What time does the moon rise? About two minutes ago. Don't look at the moonlight.
Cleo, are you all right? I'm fine. Why? You just had quite a close call. Really? This is really scary, isn't it? I have to go to the bathroom. Well, someone should go with you. Lewis, it's the bathroom. I think I'll be fine. Karaoke DVD. You guys up for a few laughs? What, you'd prefer to sit here and be morbid? Possibly do something that's not from 1985. Let me have a go. I liked it. Singing. She's incredible. Cleo? She must have had singing lessons, I guess. They really worked. How did I do? You were good. I can sing. I can really sing. I mean, it sounded good to me, but sometimes it's hard to tell. Cleo, we need to talk. Cleo, listen, you touched water and the full moon is doing something to you. I can sing. Cleo, wake up. You're a bad singer. You're just jealous. But that's okay. I still like you. You're my friends. And if you want, you can pick out my next song. Let's get Lewis. No one in our family has ever been a singer. Well, I sing now and again. Yeah, okay. Point taken. Lewis, we need you now. Cool. Cleo's so cool. I'm there. Hey, I want to see Cleo too. Wait! No boys. I'll see what this is all about. You two wait there. Don't you like my singing, Dad? It's nice, Cleo. 
but I'm more concerned about you. There are two boys down there who seem a bit, well, smitten. They like me. Well, that's what it looks like. Now, why don't you go down there and tell them to go home right now? Dad, Mum wants to see you. I'm busy here. She said now, Dad. I was just out for a walk and I heard this fantastic voice. Yeah, who was that girl singing before? She was incredible. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. Out now. Oh. Reckon we get any ideas out of Lewis? Forget it. He's a pod person now. Just like the others. Unpopular. Isn't this great? Sorry, I can't hear you, but I think I know what's happened with Cleo. She's a siren. Just like the mermaids in mythology, they're singing lurid sailors to their deaths. I'm hoping this isn't quite that bad. So what do we do? Keep her locked up? What? No. That'll never work. It's best if we keep her locked up. Forget it. He's out of action. We need to figure this out for ourselves. You don't have to do anything. This is the best thing that's ever happened to me. People like me. Adore me. Aren't I adorable? I'll get back to you on that one. Dad says it's getting late and he wants you guys to pack up all those microphones and stuff. We're busy, kid. Scram. He's not going to like that. What are we going to do? Let's just get it done, quick. Stay here. Do not move. FM, you're on the air. Everybody's listening. I've got something I want to share with the whole world. Well, go right ahead and share. morning without something else happening. Yeah. Thanks, Cleo. You're not doing anything crazy. Sure. No problem. And now some late-breaking news. Fresh FM has discovered a new star and you're not going to believe this voice. Her name is Cleo Satori. You Remember didn't. it. She did. How could you? I'm good. Why not let me share it? It's the full moon, Cleo. Don't you get it? It's not you. Yes, it is. That's the thing. This is the real me. The one that's been hidden. Why shouldn't I let it out? Does the word deluded mean anything to you? Why can't you just be happy for me? You'd think as my best friends, you'd be a little more supportive. I'm a star. You can be my entourage. 
I won't forget you. I'll get it. It might be Lewis. Oh, oh no. Is Cleo home? What's going on? What's all the noise? No, don't open that. Why? Is that boy Lewis back? Hello, everyone. Explain, young lady. They're my fans. Who took those boys outside? They're Cleo's boyfriend. That's it. I'm calling the police. No, wait. Why don't we negotiate? Three of you can come inside. That's all. You choose. Cleo has a gift. What she needs is a manager. I can do that. The world needs to hear her sing. Please. Absolutely not. I want all your little friends off my grass right now. That lawn's only just been laid. Dad, there's only one thing to do. I could put on a concert at the Juice Net Cafe for everybody. They'd love it. Fantastic idea. I don't think so. Think about it, Mr Story. You can't keep Cleo all to yourself. She belongs to the world. No, she doesn't. She is my daughter. Oh, she used to be your daughter. Now she's so much more than that. You three are off your collective rockers. So the concert's on? Yes. Leave it to me. Cleo, you are not going out there. You three, conference over. Outside. Yeah, police. My house is surrounded by teenage boys. Yes, I will hold. She's right. They're going. Where's Cleo? Uh, excuse me, guys. Uh, sorry, coming through. Excuse me. Stick with me, Kim. Excuse me. Make way. How much more room do we have? Let me through. I'm her father. Ooh. Watch out. What's going on? It's clear. She's here. And singing. Clear. Singing. It's beautiful.
It's over. Sure is. I thought they loved me. I still love you, Chooks. And I always will. Come on. This whole full moon thing is so creepy. I wasn't that embarrassing, was I? No, of course not. Don't worry. Before you know it, everyone will have forgotten. And back by popular request, the amazing voice of Cleo Satori. Ah! See? Whoa, whoa, whoa. Ah! Sorry, folks. What was I thinking? I'm never going to live this down. Cleo, I just want to say, um, about the kiss last night, I was... Lewis, it's okay. Don't be embarrassed. I know it was just because of the full moon and the siren thing. I'm sorry. Can we just forget about it? Oh, yeah. Yeah, of course we can. Of course we can. I mean... We're just friends, right? Friends. Right. Yeah. Goodbye, Lewis. Dad!